talk about the offset function. Now, I'm going to do two videos on this. So this video, I'm just going to kind of explain how the offset function works. And then in the next video, I'm going to go over a practical example of where you actually might use the offset function uh, day to day in Excel. So first thing is going over the actual function. Now, the offset function will essentially give you a cell reference or the value of a cell based on a certain number of rows down and over, as well as two optional arguments, which talk about the width and the height. But let's leave those out for now. I just want to talk about the first one. For example, I would like to put a function right here that gives me two rows down and one column to the right from away from A1. So the offset function would achieve this. So two rows down from A1, one, two, and one column over should be PQR. So let's take a look at how this function works. I'm gonna do equals offset, open bracket. First piece it wants is the reference. So what cell is my starting point? Well, I'm gonna use A1 in this example because I have that written here on the side. So from A1, comma. First thing it wants to know is how many rows I would like to go. So I would like to go two rows down. So that's gonna be a value of two. Keep in mind, if you wanted to go uh, two rows up, you would put that in as a negative value. In this case, that would return an error for me because there are there are not two rows above row one. It starts at row one. So we're gonna put two, that's two rows down, comma. Then the number of columns, I would like to go to the right. Again, I'm gonna put in one. If you wanted to go the other direction to the left, you would put in a negative value. And then I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna go over the height and the width arguments just yet. So I'm gonna close the bracket. I'm gonna hit enter, and as you can see, there's PQR. Two rows down from A1, one, two, and one column across, that's that value. Let's do one more, except in this case, let's only go one row down and let's skip the column argument which we can't actually do, we have to give it a value. So I'm gonna do equals offset. In this case, I'm gonna reference C5, comma, I'd like to go one row down, comma, no column, so I'm gonna put a value of zero there, hit enter, and we're done. We've gone one, essentially one row down from C5, and there's the value. So let's bring in those two other arguments. Let's bring in the width and the height which instead of identifying a single cell reference, would actually identify a range of cells. Okay, so that's what the width and height is essentially used for. So here we go, I'm gonna do equals offset, and you're gonna notice this is going to be a problem. So the first thing is the reference, and I would like to start at A1 in this particular example. How many rows down would I like to go? Well, I'm gonna do two again, I'm gonna do one, Okay, so that moves me down to a starting point. And then from that starting point, I can choose the number of cells I would like to select going down, which would be the height. So let's just say I'm gonna set a height of two for this one. And then the width is the number of cells going across. So I'm gonna specify three in this case. So this essentially says, starting at A1, go two rows down, there we are. One column across, there's PQR. So it starts at that point. Then it says, I wanna go two essentially rows down. So I wanna select PQR and EFG and then I wanna go across three columns. So essentially you're gonna be selecting B3 over to D4. Now, here's the problem. You're asking it to do a range. So at this point, if I hit enter, it's gonna tell me a number sign value. It says, well, I don't know what you want me to do with that range. So typically we need to wrap this with some sort of a summary function. So I'm just gonna use count a, which just basically counts the values. And you can see it's counted five values. It's doing this range, and it's counted the number of values in there, and it's come up with five because I've left a blank here. So the width and the height allows you to select a range with that offset function. Now, this is all fine in theory, but we really need to talk about a practical example of this function. And we're gonna do that in the next video.